Hello, I'm Amber Darn. I'm one of the pharmacists here at Leesburg Pharmacy. And today I'm going to show you how to administer a sub-Q administration, which is subcutaneous or under the skin. Um, as you know, we have other videos, one of which will show you how to withdraw the contents of your medication into a syringe. So this is assuming you've got everything all prepared, ready for your injection. The supplies you want to make sure you have on hand is an alcohol swab. You would also have a Band-Aid possibly a cotton ball or a two by two gauze, just in case you might need it, as well as the dose that you've prepared for the injection. Keeping in mind that the syringe, the needle length, as well as the appearance, color, consistency of the dose that you've prepared may look different from the one that I'm using for today. So we have Sherry with us today, Hi. and she's going to be getting a sub-Q administration of a um, B12 shot. So some of the sites of um, locations where you could inject it would be the back of the arm, you could also do um, your abdomen around your uh, belly button area. On the lateral side of your thigh would be another area if you're self-administering. Uh, obviously, I'm showing you how to do the injection today, me administering one to another patient, so it is a little bit different. Um, but keep in mind that there are some other areas that you could inject the dose. So we'll have her just have her sleeve rolled up, and we are going to inject in the back side of her arm here, so typically in the area around this area. Okay. The idea is, is that you do not want to get it into the muscle. So when in doubt, you can always just kind of look at the muscle, which is usually the deltoid muscle here, and you would want to inject in the area right below that on the back side of the arm. So to prepare for the injection, where you think you may inject, you're going to start at that center point, and you're going to swirl around when you're swabbing the area. So that's taking any um, dirt or bacteria away from the site of the injection. I have my cotton ball ready for those of you that would be using that. And I'm going to have my syringe ready, taking the cap off very quickly, pulling the cap away from me so I don't uh, prick myself with that needle. And then just kind of hold it like a, a pencil, and you're going to have it, your hands pinched around the area that you're going to inject, and you're going to hold the needle at a 45 degree angle, and you're going to insert the needle and then slowly inject the medication by doing it slowly it doesn't cause it as much pain for the patient and then you'll put your syringe into a sharps container if you have that on hand at home just hold the cotton ball at the area there typically for a sub -Q injection you don't see any bleeding but just in case you want to have that cotton ball ready and then you can place the band-aid in the area if you wanted to put the band-aid there. And then that's it. That's the sub-Q administration.